Hello, I am going to be teaching you how to do the Celtic weave. This is a fun stitch that um, is pretty advanced, but it makes this nice weave. This is my griffin pillow using the Celtic weave stitch. For this pattern, I used Madeline Tosh hand dyed yarn. This is home. And it is, it is the colorway um, glazed pecan. This yarn was gifted to me as part of the um, Madeline Tosh Studio designs. This is a 100% super wash merino wool. And it is, we did six, super bulky. For this project, I am using a boy aluminum hook. This I got from Walmart. It is eight millimeter and L hook. So this is what I'm using for this pattern. So I'm gonna just create a swatch. To do the Celtic weave, you're going to need to create a slip knot and then chain any multiple of four. So I am going to chain 16. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Chain any multiple of four. I did sixteen, and then in the one, two, three, fourth chain from the hook, you're gonna do a double crochet. Okay, so you have this chain and then your first double crochet. This first chain counts as a double crochet, it counts as a stitch as we're going through. So, now you're going to do a double crochet in every stitch across. Just work a double crochet in every chain across. Okay, after you did a double crochet in every chain across, you will have 14 chains. You'll have two less, or you have 14 double crochets, including this first chain here. Okay, so you will have two less double crochets in the chains that you've made. Okay, I did 16 chains and I have 14 double crochets. So you chain any multiple of four and do double crochets across and you should have two less than the number of chains. If you just wanna create a foundation row, foundation double crochet, you would do a, a foundation double crochet row of any multiple of four plus two and that would get you to this point. Okay, so I have 14 double crochets. After row one, which is the wrong side of the work, we're gonna go to row two, the right side of our work. I chain three and turn. This chain three does count as a stitch when you're figuring out how many stitches you have per row. We're gonna skip two stitches and do a front post treble crochet in that third stitch. There's, it'll be your fourth stitch, but you're gonna skip two and then in that next stitch, you're gonna do a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice, grab that front post, yarn over pull the loop, yarn over pull through two loops, yarn over pull through two loops, yarn over pull through two loops. And then in the next stitch, also do a front post treble crochet. Okay. So we chain three, skip two stitches, and then in these next two we did front post treble crochet. Next we are going to go back to this first skip stitch and do a front post treble crochet 
in that one and in this next one. So we're going to go back through those first skip stitches and do a front post treble crochet in each of them. this flat and just kind of show you. You see we've crossed over we've created our first little crisscross and now we are going to repeat those four stitches all the way across. Okay, These stitches have a front post double crochet so we're going to skip these two stitches and do front post treble crochet in these two stitches. Okay, run over it twice. It's kind of hard to see, but these ones already have stitches in them. So we're gonna skip one, two, and do a front post treble crochet in each of the next two stitches. If you are new to this stitch, go slowly Press rewind, go back through and see what I did. It's a very fussy stitch and it's hard to know what's going on. Okay, so I skipped these two, did front post treble crochet. I did front post treble crochet in these two. So next I'm going to go back in these two skip stitches. I'm going to do a treble crochet, front post treble crochet in each of them. So find which is the first one. Front post treble crochet. Front post treble crochet. Okay, so now it looks like this. We have two little twists here. Okay, and we're going to keep repeating that. Okay, so these ones already have stitches, so we're going to skip these next two. One, two, and in these two stitches, each one of them gets a front post treble crochet. Okay, now we need to go back and do front post treble crochet in each of those two skip stitches. Okay. Then in this last stitch, in this last chain, we're going to do a double crochet to finish her off. Okay, so this is our row two. We have our chain three, then our repeat of four stitches where we skipped two, did a front post treble crochet, went back to those skips, front post treble crochet. So that's the repeat. So we did that three times and ended with a double crochet in that last stitch or that last chain space. Okay, so we have one and two stitches and then four times three is 12, so we have 14. Okay. So moving on to row three then, we're gonna start with a chain three space, or chain three, we're gonna start with a chain three and turn. This is row three and we're working on the wrong side for row three, we're gonna do work back post treble crochets, okay? This side we did front post. This side we're gonna do back post and we're gonna get all tied up in knots. So let's work slowly and figure this out together. This video is making me nervous because I don't wanna mess it up for you guys, but just go slow, rewind if you have to, and I will try to not make it too confusing. So we are going to do a back post treble crochet in each of these 
next two stitches, back post treble crochet as we're going in from the back, grab that back post. So to do it you kind of have to flip over so you're looking on the back side of your work. So this is our back post. I'm going to grab that and pull through. Okay. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, that's the back post treble crochet. You're going to do another one of those in this next stitch. You can't really see it from this side. Just kind of flip your work, and grab that back post. Okay, kind of flip your work and work upside down a little bit, and that's okay. Okay, so so far we have three stitches. We have our double or our chain three and two back post treble crochets. Okay, this is going to start our repeat. All right. Our next two stitches are here, but we're going to skip. We're going to skip those two stitches. And instead, we're going to work a back post treble crochet in these. Okay. We skip two stitches. Now we're doing our back post double crochet. Back post treble crochet. Did I say that? Back post treble crochet. In these next two stitches. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the wrong side. And this is what it looks like on the front side. Gonna have this wonky little area here. Okay, here's the back side of our work. We've done five stitches. We've done our chain three. Back post treble crochet, back post treble crochet. We've skipped these two stitches. And here's our back post treble crochet here. This is what the front side works looks like. Okay, we skipped these two little hidden stitches right here. Okay, now we're going to go back to these skip stitches and do back post treble crochet. Remember to kind of see those. You'll want to flip your work. They're kind of hidden there, so you might need to use your fingers and find them. Okay, so grab that first skip stitch. Do your back post. I don't know if you saw that if I went off camera. Okay, we're going to flip and find those first skip stitches. You might have to use your fingers to find them. Okay, so here's our first one. I'm going to grab that back post. And do a treble crochet, a back post treble crochet. And do a next one on that next skip stitch. Okay. So this is what it looks like from the back. And this is what it looks like from the front. Okay, we're going to repeat these four stitches over and over again until we get to the end. So I'm going to go through it again a little bit more slowly so we know what we're doing. Okay, so what we do is we skip the next two stitches. And here, in the third stitch, we're going to do a back post treble crochet. And in the next stitch, back post treble crochet. And we're going to go back and find these first two skip stitches and do a back post treble crochet. Okay, this first one's a little hiding a little bit, so we're going to grab that. Crochet. Okay. 
back post. It looks like a front post when you turn your work upside down, but it really is the back post, I promise. Okay. If your swatch or your project was bigger than this, you'd continue to repeat all the way across. But we are unable to repeat. We're just all the way at the end right now. So we're going to do a back post treble crochet in these two stitches. These we would normally skip, but since we're at the end of our work, we can't skip them. So we're going to work back post treble crochet in each of them. And then in our chain three here, we're going to do a double crochet. Okay. So this is row three. This is the back side. That's the back. That's the back side. And this is the front side. Okay. So next, to continue on, we're just going to repeat rows two and three until we get to the end of our swatch. Or until the end of the project. Okay. So remember your even rows are the right side and your odd rows are the wrong side. So for row four is just a repeat of row two. Chain three, turn your work. Okay, so row four is just a repeat, like I said, we're gonna skip these two stitches and do a front post treble crochet here. post treble crochet here. Okay, so we skipped two and did two front post treble crochets. Now we're going to go back to those first two skip stitches and do a treble front post treble crochet in each of them. Another front post treble crochet in that stitch. And we're just going to repeat those four stitches, okay? We'll skip these two, one, two, and work a front post treble crochet. Mm -hmm. Go back to those first skip stitches. Here's the first one. See how I had, I kind of use my fingers to move it out of the way, that's just fine. Treble crochet in each of those two skip stitches. Okay, now we're going to skip these two hidden stitches here. Skip these two and work a front post treble crochet in each of the next two. Go back to those two skip stitches that are kind of hiding. Front post treble crochet. I hope I'm not going off screen too much. Front post treble crochet. Then we're at the end. We're going to do a double crochet at the top of this chain three space. Chain three. Okay. So that's row four, is just a repeat of row two, and we're looking pretty good. Okay, now we're going to go to row five, which is a repeat of row three, and it's going to be on the wrong side. I chained three, and you're going to do a back post treble crochet in these first two stitches. Okay. 
On the wrong side, you're just going to do back post treble crochet right away on those first two stitches without skipping. That's how we get our nice little pattern. Okay, so we did a back post treble crochet on those first two stitches. Now I'm going to skip these one, two, skip those two stitches, and then these next two, I'm going to do a back post. Treble crochet, and another back post, treble crochet. I go back to these two stitches that I skipped, they're right here. I'm going to flip my work, and you'll see this is the first. Here's the first skip stitch. Okay, I'm going to flip it. Hard to see. Hope I didn't just mess all this up. Oops. Okay, and then the next stitch, flip the work a little bit, do that back post treble crochet. Remember on the wrong side we're doing back post treble crochets and on the front side, the right side we're doing um, front post double crochet, treble crochets. Okay, there we go. I'm going to, this is our next stitch, but we're going to skip those two and we're going to work in these two stitches. Back post, back post treble crochet. back post treble crochet in these skip stitches. Flip the work to find what we're looking for, which is right here. Again, if you flip your work, it really looks like you're doing a front post, but you're doing a back post. See, because it would look like this if you're doing it without flipping your work. It would be like that, and it would be a back post, okay? It's just easier to see if you flip your work. talking too much, not paying attention to what I'm doing. And then this next stitch here, all right, I always get my stitches ready. Okay, now we cannot skip the next two stitches, we just have to work back post treble crochet in these. Okay, if your project is bigger, you would continue on skipping two stitches. But since I'm at the end of my row here, the last, and that third to last stitch, you do a treble crochet, back post treble crochet, back post treble crochet. And in this chain three, you're gonna work a double crochet. Double crochet. Okay, so that is the end of row five, which is a repeat of row three. And this is what the front side looks like. You would just continue repeating rows two and three until you're done with your project. If you would like to make my griffin pillow. I will link the pattern below. You will get these little holes, maybe changing your yarn, your tension, your hook size might change that, but it's normal to have those little holes. Okay, this is the Celtic Weave Stitch. Thank you for following along. Please comment below what you think of this video. If you have any tips or tricks on how to do the Celtic weave, leave me a comment. Please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel for more stitch tutorials, and uh, hit that little bell so that you get notified when more are available. Thank you.